How's it going guys? So today we're going to be doing a remake of Big Ange's track Wifey for Lifey. Big Ange has been a pioneer of the garage scene for over 10 years. This is what today's remake sounds like. Great, so the drums used in this video are for my new garage drums pack. You can download them from the link in my description. Just go to my website and search for the drums pack. Great, so they split this track up into three parts. The first part being the drums. We've got this kick, which is from the pack that I previously mentioned. It sounds like this. Quite a thumpy one. Great, so we've then got the rest of the drums. On the drum group, we've got this drum bus. So this is uh, creating some compression, distortion, and some crunch, which is basically adding more vibrance to the high range. So between about 17K to 20K, we've got this clap. And as featured in the original track, it has tons of reverb on it. So this is pushed up to 33%, and I've used the clap 909. Uh, which will, everyone will have on their Ableton or in their drum library. It's a really standard sound. So then we've got this snare lad on top of it. This helps just give it a bit more of a punch. So let's hear them both together. So if I take off the reverb. See it's a lot more dry than I add them both back. See a huge amount of reverb. I mean, generally, you wouldn't want to use that on a modern day track because it just sounds a bit tacky. Um, but in this track, it's a banger. So use that at your own uh, discretion. We've then got this hat. So it sounds like this. So it's quite a nice and harsh hat, which means it kicks through and punches through the mix quite easily. We've then got this shaker. If you look at the MIDI, just on every beat. And then we've got this swing. That swing is also applied to all the other drum, uh, all the other drum layers, so they're all uh, swinging the same. It's also applied to the bass. Great. So, part two, the bass. This is what it sounds like. Great. And if we have a look at the MIDI, <coughs> what we've done is added a stab. So. It's got more than one note, but generally MIDI is just gonna be one flat note. So we've made it an actual chord progression. So we're moving on to that in a second. Firstly, let's look at the patch. So I've called this the Wifey for Lifey preset. You can download this from my Patreon. The link for that is also below. In terms of oscillator A, we've got the Juno and the wave position is kept all the way at the start. And oscillator B, we've then got the same Juno, but the wave position is moved all the way over. <coughs> so it's a slightly different waveform. We've then added a bit of unison without that. It's not as wide, so we've put it in about seven. You can obviously put it a bit higher if you wanted, a bit lower. Uh, it all depends on your ear. And then just make sure you detune it, otherwise, it's not too wide, so yeah, I did tune it quite a lot. <coughs> uh, we then got this LFO3, which is dragged onto the fine tuning, which is also detuned by 30 and 28. Uh, this basically gives it more stereo and also more of an analog feel. <coughs> yeah, this LFO is also attached to these. So as you can see from the pattern here, it's going up and down to so the slope. Um, it basically means that when the note's been hit, it's detuning ever so slightly, which also had, uh, helps to add that analog fill. Next, we've got this envelope two. So this is attached to the filter and the cutoff is going up as such. That's what's giving it that plucky stab fill. Uh, we've kept the decay really short, um, which means that it's going up really quickly. If we open this up, See, as you can hear that, when it sounds shorter, it's a lot more quick and stabby, which is what we want. We've then got the envelope one, which is an amplitude envelope, which basically is the volume and how long it sustains and falls. 
So yeah, this is also kept really low, so short, short decaying, slight bit of sustain. As you can hear, too short, it's too stabby. So yeah, it sounds right at these settings. So if you want to copy those, we've also got this sub, got on the sine wave, you can change it to maybe a square. But yeah, that's just helping add a bit of a lower frequencies. If we then move on to the effects, we've got this distortion, so just the tube distortion. We've got this chorus, which is being affected by the LFO one. So if you want to drag that on there, you can. And as I said, that basically just means that as you, uh, every time the envelope is triggered, the chorus uh, is also added, but sort of to the effect of the shape of this LFO. So if I did it too much, you can hear that sound right. But a little bit, this helps again, add a little bit of width, which uh, sounds nice. We then got this compressor. So pretty basic, that's uh, just compressing that, no gain added. And uh, this filter's turned off and so is the reverb, which is done externally. Yeah, so let's go back to the MIDI. So as I said, it's a stab, it's a stab bass. So we've got the main bass down here, the root notes, and then we've pitched it up by five. So all I've done for this, is get these bass notes and then go up five, like so. So yeah, that's just pitched up by five semitones. We are in the key of G minor for those wondering. And all I've done at the end is this little flicker up. So we've gone from F, then pitched up an octave, and then therefore that top notes come up with it. So yeah, pretty simple progression, but it works really well, especially with the vocals. We've then got this EQ, which isn't doing anything. Originally I had it taken out the top end, which you could have, but I prefer it without. We've then got this kick start, which is side chaining it to the kick. So it basically means the kick's punching through more. I've got this up really high as well, because I felt as it was such a stabby and plucky sound, it needed a lot of side chain to sort of keep it more balanced in the mix. We've then got this reverb, which we've got on after the kick start. And this is slightly changed. So at the start, before the drop, it's up really high. And then during the drop, it's down at about 24%. This just uh, helps give the bass some space in the mix and fill up more of the frequencies. As it's quite simple, it's just bass, drums and vocal, you sort of need a bit of reverb somewhere to fill out those uh, those sort of mid frequencies that aren't being uh, obtained by anything else. We've then got this auto filter, which is just taken out a little bit before the drop, um, which helps it, you know, taking out some of the low end before the drop, but it helps it to um, be more emphasized when it does actually drop. In terms of effects, on the drum bus, we've just got the same as we've got on the drum group. So yeah, on the kick and bass, we've got the exact same effects, just that same drum bus. Great, so the third step is the vocals and the synths. So we start with the synth. Great, so it sounds like this. So I've just used the Stab Preset Hut from the UK Garage Volume 1 pack. You can get this obviously in my bio. And all it is is a Juno, which the octave is like that, and the Dirty Saw. The main sound is coming from the sub, so this sine wave, which is almost like this bell effect. So with all these effects, we've got loads of chorus, reverbs, this hyper dimension, and this EQ. Uh, as you can hear, it's like a bell. So you could even get rid of these. Uh, we've then got this reverb, which is all the way up to 87% and a decay time of 3% without it. Yeah, so that basically gives it a lot of space and makes it sound more like a bell, so like a church bell. Then side change it to the kick and use the compressor, just took down the threshold as the levels are a bit all over the place, so that's sort of flattened them out. And I've got this EQ taken out the low end. Then got the vocal, so this is just ripped from the original track. 
got some dis di distortion on there from this drum bus and got the side chain to the kick again but low about 43 percent great guys so thank you very much for watching please comment down below any other requests you have and i'll add them to the list thanks see you next time